What's up YouTube? In today's video we're discussing my top 5 SMG choices in Call of Duty Modern Warfare in 2021. Now these builds are designed for smaller style maps including Shoot the Ship, Vacant, Rust, Hackney Yard and go for exceeding stats like ADS speed, so that's aim down sight speeds, movement speed and sprint to fire speed without affecting recall patterns too much. Now these 5 SMGs in my opinion are the most fun to use and all hold their own weight in sweaty lobbies. Now one of these is an optional choice and you'll be surprised with a certain SMG that I've left out in today's video. You'll notice that the MP5 is not included in today's video, it's been covered millions of times, everybody knows about the gun already, so for the purpose of this video it's been left out, okay? I'll be covering the five guns attachments and showing visual clips of each gun and how they perform in game. Now to make you guys aware, I am a mouse and keyboard player who plays at 800 DPI and 3 cents in game. With all that being said and done, let's roll into today's video. Oh. oh my god, there's no way. Oh, fucking hell, boys. Now, moving in at number five, and as my optional choice, I've gone with the Org SMG. Now, just to give you a reference for a secondary weapon, I'm always using the Psychoff pistol. For perks, I use Quick Fix Point Man and Tune Up for objective, keeping myself alive and to give myself constant dead silence. For lethal, I always run the Semtex because the C4s have been nerfed. And for the tactical, I'm always using Stim to further keep myself alive. Now, moving into the first build, for the barrel, you want to use the 407mm lightweight barrel, which gives you the damage range, bullet velocity, just for a little bit of loss of ADS speed, it's definitely worth it. You could go with an extended barrel if you wanted to, but you will lose more ADS speed. So it depends on how mobile you want to be with the gun. Uh, for the TAT laser, or sorry, for the laser, I do use the TAT laser, and I use this for pretty much almost every gun out there. For the, the buffs that you get for it, for ADS, um, aim stability, and aim and walk and steadiness, this uh, attachment is definitely worth it, and it's highly instrumental to making SMGs as effective as they are. All right, for the stock, we're using the Forge TAC CQB comb stock, which gives me the ADS that I lost from previous. Um, for the rear grip, we use the stipple grip tape, which gives you again ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. And then finally, for the ammunition, I'm running the 5.56 NATO 60 round drum mags, gives you the 60 round mags that you need. The only other, other options are 32 and 30, so this is definitely the best choice here. Gives you damage, range, and obviously your magazine. Um, ammo capacity, you do lose a little bit of um, movement speed and ADS speed, but you pick that up on other attachments. Oh, quick fix! That right there is the reason why I use fucking quick fix. Saves my ass so much. If I never got that health regen from that first play, I was dead. Oh! Moving into number four, we have the Glorious P90. Not the strongest SMG in the game, but definitely one of the most fun to use. Moving into the gun build itself, for the muzzle, you like to use the monolithic suppressor, which does give you sound suppression and does give you range, even though you do lose a little bit of ADS and aim walking steadiness. But that's okay, because we'll build that up a little bit later on. For the barrel, we're using the Forge Attack Retribution, which gives you the range, velocity, and recoil control that you need for this gun. Now, I used to use the uh, Tensic Pro, and I wondered why the gun wasn't so good. Ever since the change to the Attack Retribution, has made a massive difference, and I highly recommend to use this barrel. It makes it an absolute slaying machine. For again, for the laser, we're using the TAT laser, ADS, aim stability, walking steadiness, everything that you need right there in a laser, highly recommend it. For the stock, we're using the fly strap, again, it gives you the sprint to fire speed and gives you the aim and walking movement speed that you'll be losing from the um, muzzle on the gun. Does it need an optic? No under barrel needed. You can go with slight hand if you want to, but I don't recommend it as you've got stipple grip tape here, which gives you more ADS speed and more sprint to fire speed to turn it into an absolute mobile slaying machine. Dead. Moving in at gun three and spot number three, we have the PP Bison, the SMG slaying machine. For the muzzle, we're using the monolithic suppressor, similar to the P90, where it's about sound suppression and damage range. Again, losing a couple of stats that we'll pick up later on in the guide itself. For the barrel, you want to use the 87 steel, the longest barrel out the three, which gives you the damage range, velocity, and recoil control that you need to make it a stable slaying machine. For the laser, once again, TAT laser, all reliable, ADS, aim stability, aim walking steadiness, everything that you need right there. For the stock, we're running the Corvus 
skeleton stock. We used to use no stock on it, but that got slightly nerfed, so I've taken no stock off this particular gun and gone with the Corvus Skeleton, which gives me ADS and aim and walking movement speed. And then finally, for the rear grip, once again, we've gone with old reliable stipple grip tape, which gives you ADS and sprint to fire speed. Again, if you want, you don't need an iron sight for this gun. You can run sleight of hand if you want for your SMGs, or if you're really, really desperate from them longer mags, you can run with 84 round, but you don't need it as it comes with enough off the bat. Oh. Boy, I'm loving this new sense I'm playing out, bro. Jeez. Feeling the, the shots are sticking. Coming in at gun number four and second place is the almighty Uzi. Now, if you remember this gun, it got buffed around a year ago or so, making it from a hit marker machine to a melting monster. Now, for the build for this, for the barrel, you're going to want to use the FSS Carbine Pro. It gives you the range, bullet velocity, and recoil control that the gun needs to perform at medium to long range as well as short range. All right, for the laser, again, we're going to go with the old reliable TAT laser, ADS, aim and stability, aim and walk steadiness, all the stats you need to make it an absolute mobile beast when aiming down sights. For this gun in particular, I recommend going with the GI Mini Reflex Optic. I don't personally like the iron sights, um, and this Mini Reflex goes really well with the TAT laser, so you can pretty much lead your shots and find out where it is that you're trying to shoot people at. For the stock, I did mention in the last gun build that no stock had been nerfed, but on this gun, it's still very good for the movement speed and ADS speed it gives you. Highly recommend to run no stock on the Uzi. And finally, you could go with the stipple grip take if you don't want to go with no stock. There is an option for sleight of hand if you want it. doesn't need an underbarrel in my opinion. And for the ammunition, you want to go with the dot forty-one AE thirty-two round mags, which give you all the damage and the range that you need to turn this gun into a melting monster. Holy shit, baby. And last but not least, we have gun number five, position at number one, my favorite SMG in the game. Not necessarily the strongest, but definitely the most fun to use and still an absolute monstrous slayer, the MP7. Now for this build, for the muzzle, I use once again the monolithic suppressor, keeping me quiet on the map and increasing my damage range. Lose a little bit of ADS and aiming walker steadiness, but again, we picked that up later on. For the barrel, I'm using the FSS Recon, which gives me damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control that I need. Definitely the best barrel out of the three and gives the gun its long range and medium range that it needs as well for its fights. For the laser, I'm using the TAT laser. Once again, ADS, aim stability, and aim and walking steadiness. Doesn't need an optic on it. Uh, for stock, I have run no stock previously, but I have decided to swap that out and go for stippled grip tape now, which gives me my ADS and sprint to fire speed that I want and need as well. For perk, you don't really need sleight of hand on this gun, nor does it need an underbarrel because it controls the recoil very, very well. And finally, for ammunition on this gun, we use the 60 round mags to give me the best opportunity to slay and take people out. And that brings us up towards the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, any constructive or positive feedback obviously down in the comments really help and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications for more videos coming up we're so close to that 10k goal as always on youtube as that is the goal for the end of this year thank you for your support and i look forward to seeing you on the next one